Welcome to this video on enzyme activity assays. In this video, we'll explore what enzyme activity assays are, how they work, and their applications in diagnostics. We'll also discuss some of the advantages of enzyme activity assays in identifying different kinds of diseases and the latest development in enzyme activity assays. Let's get started. First, we know enzymes are biological molecules that catalyze chemical reactions in living organisms. Enzyme activity assays are laboratory techniques used to measure the rate of enzyme-catalyzed reactions under controlled conditions. Enzyme activity assays are widely used in clinical chemistry to diagnose and monitor diseases. Enzyme activity assays can also be used to monitor the effectiveness of drug treatments. Enzyme activity assays can be performed on various biological samples, such as blood, urine, saliva, tissue samples, and cell cultures, and can provide important diagnostic and prognostic information. The choice of biological sample depends on the specific application and the type of enzyme being tested. For instance, the measurement of liver enzymes may require a blood sample, while the measurement of enzymes in saliva may require a saliva sample. Let's explain how. Enzymes are characterized by binding to a specific substrate or group of substrates, which then forms the enzyme substrate complex. Within a specific reaction, the substrate is converted into a product. The substrate is a molecule that is specifically recognized and acted upon by the enzyme being measured. The substrate is chosen based on its chemical structure and functional properties which determine its ability to be transformed or processed by the enzyme. The activity of an enzyme is equivalent to the reaction speed. It is defined by the amount of substrate that is converted within a specific period of time and the amount of product that is produced respectively. Enzyme activity assays can be used to determine the amount of enzyme in a sample, the activity of an enzyme, and the effectiveness of an enzyme inhibitor. Let's take a look at the following example, which happens in our daily life to illustrate the working principle of enzyme activity assays. Salivary amylase is a digestive enzyme found in saliva that is responsible for initiating the digestion of starch in the mouth. Salivary amylase, as an enzyme, recognizes and binds to starch molecules in the food. Starch is a large molecule made up of many glucose units. Salivary amylase breaks down starch into smaller sugar molecules through hydrolysis, setting the stage for subsequent digestion processes and nutrient absorption. The principle of enzyme activity assays in clinical diagnostic testing is based on the fact that the presence and quantity of certain enzymes in biological fluids or tissues can indicate the presence or progression of certain diseases or conditions. Enzyme activity assays are performed using a variety of methods such as colorimetric, fluorescence, or radioisotope assays. These assays typically involve the use of a substrate that is specific to the enzyme measured. When the substrate is acted upon by the enzyme, a product is formed or the substrate is depleted. The rate of reaction is measured under controlled conditions such as temperature, pH, and substrate concentration. For example, as larger amounts of substrate are added to a reaction, the available enzyme binding sites become filled to the limit of Vmax. Beyond this limit, the enzyme is saturated with substrate and the reaction rate ceases to increase. The rate of reaction is proportional to the enzyme activity, which is then calculated and reported as an enzyme activity per unit per volume of the biological fluid being tested. Lactate dehydrogenase, or LDH, is a critical enzyme that plays a crucial role in energy metabolism by catalyzing the conversion of lactate to pyruvate. In clinical chemistry, LDH activity is often used as a biomarker for certain types of cancer or tissue damage. As such, the measurement of LDH activity in blood samples can provide valuable diagnostic and prognostic information. Lactate dehydrogenase is a soluble enzyme present in the cytoplasm. When the plasma membrane is damaged, LDH is released into cell culture media. 
to perform the LDH assay, a blood sample is collected and processed to separate the serum or plasma from the cellular components. A substrate, such as nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, or NADH, is added to the serum or plasma. Some other appropriate buffer and LDH-specific inhibitors are also added to prevent the interference from other enzymes or substances. The released LDH can be detected by a couple of enzymatic reactions. First, LDH converts lactate to pyruvate by reducing the oxidized form of NAD plus to NADH. NAD+, or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, is a coenzyme that is initially present in cells. Second, diaphorase uses NADH to reduce the INT, or the iodonitrotetrazoleum chloride, to a red formazin product. INT is an added compound in the LDH activity assay intentionally introduced into the reaction so that it can serve as an electron acceptor, receiving electrons generated by NADH. In summary, in the lactase dehydrogenase reaction, lactate is oxidized to pyruvate and at the same time NAD plus is reduced to NADH. This reaction can be represented by the following chemical equation. Lactate plus NAD plus to pyruvate plus NADH plus H plus. The red formazin product has a specific absorbance spectrum meaning it absorbs light at a specific wavelength. By measuring the absorbance of the red formazin product at this specific wavelength, we can determine the amount of the lactate that was present in the sample, as it is proportional to the amount of NADH produced during the LDH reaction, and the LDH activity is reported as units per volume of the biological fluid being tested. The LDH activity can be further classified into five different isoenzymes, each of which has a specific tissue distribution and can be used to identify the source of tissue damage or disease. This figure of human LDH genes shows their chromosomal location and sites of predominant tissue-specific expression. Enzyme activity assays can be used to detect biomarkers for various diseases, for example, elevated levels of alanine aminotransferase, or ALT, and aspartate aminotransferase, AST, in the blood can indicate liver damage or disease. The measurement of enzyme activity can also be used to monitor the effectiveness of treatments by assessing the increase in enzyme activity in the patient's blood or tissue for certain diseases. For example, enzyme replacement therapy for lysosomal storage diseases involves the administration of a functional enzyme to replace the deficient or defective enzyme in the patient's body. Enzyme activity assays offer several advantages over other types of assays. For example, they provide a direct measure of enzyme activity and can be used to detect small changes in enzyme activity over time. They are also relatively inexpensive and easy to use, making them accessible to a wide range of users. In addition, enzyme activity assays can be used to detect multiple enzymes or substrates simultaneously, providing a comprehensive picture of biological function or disease. This versatility makes enzyme activity assays useful in a variety of applications, including clinical diagnostics, drug discovery, and biotechnology. Here are some examples of enzyme activity assay products on the market. The Easy Chrome Enzyme Activity Assay Kit, the Randox Laboratories Enzyme Assays, Sigma Aldrich Enzyme Assay Kits, BioVision Enzyme Activity Assay Kits. In addition to these examples, there are many other companies and products available on the market for enzyme activity assays. These products vary in their features and capabilities, and researchers and clinicians should carefully evaluate them based on their specific needs and applications. In conclusion, enzyme activity assays have become an essential tool in diagnostic testing, providing critical information about the presence, severity, and progression of various diseases and conditions. Thank you for watching.